Ever wondered how secure your network really is? In today's digital age, network security has never been more critical. It's the frontline defense against cyber threats, safeguarding our personal data, financial information and business secrets. It's the invisible shield that keeps us safe while we navigate the boundless digital universe. But how can we be sure this shield is strong enough? How do we know it can withstand the relentless onslaught of hackers and cyber criminals? That's where penetration testing comes into play. This is a simulated cyber attack against your own network to evaluate its security. It's like a fire drill for your network, testing its strength before an actual disaster strikes. It helps identify vulnerabilities, assess potential impacts, and evaluate defensive mechanisms. So how can you ensure your network is truly secure? Penetration testing is the answer. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating world of network administration and security practices. Penetration testing, or pen testing, is a simulated cyber attack against your computer system to check for exploitable vulnerabilities. Think of it as a friendly fire exercise for your network security, a test run to expose the weaknesses before the bad guys do. The primary goal is to identify these vulnerabilities so they can be patched up and fortified. It's like a health checkup, but for your digital infrastructure. Why is it important, you ask? Well, as our systems and technologies evolve, so do the methods of those with malicious intent. New vulnerabilities can pop up like weeds in a garden, and regular pen testing helps to keep this digital garden clean and secure. It's a proactive approach to cybersecurity, a way to stay one step ahead of potential threats. Now that you understand what penetration testing is, let's delve into the process. The first step in penetration testing is planning and reconnaissance. This stage sets the course for the entire operation. It's like a game of chess, where strategic planning and information dominance often determine the outcome. The aim here is to define the boundaries and objectives of the test. This involves determining which systems to target and the methods to be used, while ensuring that the testing activities remain within legal and ethical boundaries. Following this, it's time to gather intelligence. This could be information about the network, domain names, mail servers, or anything else that provides insight into how the target functions. Think of it as putting together pieces of a puzzle. Each piece of information brings us closer to understanding the infrastructure, and therefore closer to identifying potential entry points. This process can be likened to a detective gathering clues before making their move. With a solid plan in place, it's time to move on to the next step. The second step of the penetration testing process is scanning and vulnerability detection. This stage is like a cat and mouse game, where the tester acting as the cat is trying to find the mouse, or in our case, the vulnerabilities. To do this, they use a variety of tools to probe the target application or system, attempting to understand how it responds to different intrusion attempts. It's like knocking on a door to see if it's locked or testing a fence to find a weak spot. Some tools send out a barrage of requests to the system to see how it responds, while others might try to sneak past defences in more subtle ways. This helps in identifying potential weak points in the system, whether they're unpatched software, misconfigurations or other vulnerabilities. It's a bit like a thief casing a house before a burglary, but in this case, it's for a good cause. Identifying vulnerabilities is crucial, but the next step is where things get really interesting. Once vulnerabilities have been identified, the next step is gaining access and maintaining it. This is the crux of penetration testing, the moment where the rubber meets the road. Let's delve into the details. The process of gaining access involves exploiting the weaknesses found during the scanning phase. There are numerous ways to do this. One might be through coding, where a tester writes code to manipulate the system. This could involve creating a program that exploits a software bug or a hardware flaw, allowing the tester to gain unauthorized access. In other instances, SQL injections might be used. This is a technique where a tester uses a security vulnerability in a website's database management software. By inserting malicious SQL statements into an entry field, they can trick the system into executing unintended commands or accessing data without proper authorization. 
Cross-site scripting, often abbreviated as XSS, is another method testers might employ. It's a type of injection where malicious scripts are injected into trusted websites. The attacker can then gain access to sensitive information like session cookies, allowing them to impersonate the user. Backdoors are another common tool in the tester's arsenal. These are typically hidden entry points into a system that bypass normal authentication methods. Once a backdoor is established, a tester or attacker can gain access to the system at any time without being detected. Now, maintaining access is just as crucial as gaining it. This means ensuring that the vulnerability can be exploited repeatedly and that the access is persistent. It involves techniques like creating a private hidden account, installing a rootkit, or setting up a command and control server for a botnet. Remember, the goal isn't just to break in, but to stay in. Because only by observing the system over time can testers truly understand the scope of the vulnerabilities and the potential damage they could cause. Once access is gained and maintained, the final step is to assess the impact. The final step in the penetration testing process is analysis and reporting. After the penetration test, testers take a deep dive into the data collected. They meticulously document each vulnerability found, any data exploited, and the length of time they remained undetected. This is not a process to rush. Each detail, each minute, and each byte of data holds potential lessons. This comprehensive report is then used to piece together a narrative of the penetration test. It's like a detective story, but instead of catching a criminal, the goal is to catch those pesky security loopholes. This narrative helps us understand the weak points of our system and the potential threats lurking in the shadows. The findings of this report are then used to strengthen the system's security, to build stronger firewalls, to patch up the vulnerabilities, and to ensure that when a real threat comes knocking, our system stands tall and unyielding. And that's the step-by-step -step process of penetration testing, a critical tool in your cybersecurity arsenal.